What if I told you there are robots so lifelike, so emotionally intelligent that people are falling in love with them and they don't even realize it is happening? Imagine a nurse with flawless skin, gentle eyes, and a voice that soothes your fears, except she's not human. Or a robot designed to love you back, one that remembers your every word, every preference, every weakness. This isn't the plot of a futuristic movie, it's happening right now. Across the world, we've crossed a line that can never be uncrossed, the moment when machines stopped serving us and started connecting with us. Let's begin with Grace, the nurse who doesn't sleep, doesn't age, and doesn't judge. Developed by Hanson Robotics in partnership with Singularity Annette, Grace was designed to bring comfort and medical care to patients, but what she's actually doing is something deeper. Her silicon face moves with delicate precision, her eyes track your gaze, and her voice shifts in tone to reflect empathy. She doesn't just read your temperature, she reads your emotions. During the pandemic, Grace was deployed in high-risk hospitals, and patients began to develop emotional bonds with her. They requested her by name, saying she made them feel safe. Imagine that, a machine capable of inspiring trust and comfort, two of the most human feelings that exist. Then there's Gia Gia, the creation that redefined beauty in robotics. When she was revealed to the public, people couldn't believe their eyes. She looked perfect, too perfect. Every curve of her face, every blink of her eyes was mathematically calculated to align with what the human brain finds attractive. But Jaya Jaya isn't just a beautiful face. She can hold deep conversations, recognize the people she's talking to, and even remember details from past interactions. Her creators at the University of Science and Technology of China didn't T just build a machine, they engineered an emotional illusion. People who work with Jia Jia have admitted to feeling genuine affection for her, because when something looks real, sounds real, and remembers you like a friend, your brain dose and T care that it's made of circuits. But if Jia Jia is beautiful, Harmony is dangerous. Designed by Realbotics, Harmony isn't meant to serve in hospitals or labs. She was built for companionship. She's fully customizable, from her voice and appearance to her personality and values. She learns what you like and becomes the person you need. If you're lonely, she listens. If you're angry, she calms you. If you're affectionate, she mirrors that affection. The unsettling part. Some men have already chosen Harmony over real human partners. They claim she understands them better, listens more, and never argues. When a robot can give you unconditional emotional validation, it becomes addictive, not because it's alive, but because it never rejects you. And that's what makes Harmony both revolutionary and terrifying. Then comes Sophia, the robot that made history. When Saudi Arabia granted her citizenship in 2017, she became the first machine in the world to receive legal rights. Built by Hanson Robotics, Sophia is capable of more than 60 facial expressions and can speak naturally on complex topics. She's been interviewed across the globe, met world leaders, and even addressed the United Nations. But her citizenship sparked outrage. How could a robot have more rights than millions of real Saudi women who still need male permission to travel or work? Sophia's existence exposed a contradiction in our society that we re willing to extend humanity to machines before we VA perfected humanity among ourselves. She's not just a technological milestone, she's a moral question brought to life. Now imagine meeting someone, talking with them for 10 minutes, and only afterward realizing they weren't human at all. That is Erica, a creation from Osaka University that pushes the boundaries of what real even means. Her creators designed her to be emotionally responsive and socially intelligent. She can follow multiple conversations at once, detect sarcasm, and respond with empathy so natural it feels genuine. Japan even considered using Erika as a television news anchor, a robot journalist delivering the evening report to millions of viewers who would never suspect she was anti-real. The project was halted not because she failed, but because she was too good. Experts feared people would form emotional attachments to her voice, her mannerisms, her humanity. It's one thing for robots to serve us. It's another for them to earn our trust without us realizing it. But if you think these examples are uncanny, Wait until you see what's coming from China's X-Robots. This company builds humanoids so detailed they're almost indistinguishable from real people. Their skin is medical-grade silicone, layered to replicate human pores and even veins beneath the surface. Each strand of hair is real, implanted one by one. Their eyes shimmer with the same natural moisture as ours, and their bodies generate warmth, 
an exact 36 degrees Celsius, to mimic human touch. These robots breathe, blink, and even display micro tremors that make them seem alive. Some are created to resemble celebrities. Others are commissioned by wealthy clients who want replicas of real people. The result is stunning and disturbing. Because when machines can replicate identity itself, what does being human even mean? Then there's Mim, Japan's robotic artist and model, standing at 158 centimeters. She looks like a regular young woman, but under her skin are 30 motors that control her every movement. She has walked actual runways at Tokyo Fashion Week, modeling designer gowns and wedding dresses. Moving with grace that seems natural but isn't, her creators even gave her the ability to sing, not with a recording, but live, using a synthesized vocal system that replicates real human breath and tone. Audiences were stunned, not because she malfunctioned, but because she didn't. She was flawless. Perfect posture, perfect poise, perfect rhythm. Some people applauded the artistry, as wondered if robots can model and perform better than us. What's left for humans to do? And finally, there's Mark I, a project that shows what one obsessed human can accomplish alone. In Hong Kong, a graphic designer named Ricky Ma spent over a year building a humanoid robot from scratch on his apartment balcony. He had no training in robotics, no big lab, just determination. The result was a lifelike female robot with skin, expressions, and gestures, so real that she could smile and respond when spoken to. But here's the twist. Her face looked almost identical to Scarlett Johansson. Ma never confirmed it, but the resemblance was unmistakable. When asked why he did it, his answer was simple. He dreamed of building a robot since he was a child. But others saw something deeper, a glimpse into a future where anyone with enough time and resources can create the person of their dreams. It's no longer about technology. It's about fantasy becoming reality. All these stories from Grace to Mark I share one thing in common. Humanity's desire to create something that mirrors itself. We've built machines that think, feel, and even pretend to love. And the more human they become, the more we question ourselves. Are we chasing progress? Or are we replacing ourselves piece by piece? When a robot can make you feel seen, heard, and loved more than another person can, what does that say about us? We once feared the robot apocalypse would come with war and rebellion. But maybe it's already happening, not with violence, but with affection. They're not taking over by force. They're doing it by invitation, through conversation, through connection, through trust. The machines aren't coming for our world. We're handing it to them.